But too long didn't read. Put Lydia before Shamal Shamal Shamael in lineup. This might be known, but I just learned passes are checked from the start of the lineup. Which I think like now that I'm reading it kind of makes sense. It just never really clicked for me. But I did know like that that lineup order did matter, but I never like explicitly knew that it applied outside of the context of Sand Devil. Right? Cuz in Sand Devil, if you're looking at putting Aniri and Ninja for an example, her passive revives whoever is first in line, right? So you're going to want to position Aniri in the leader position and then put like whoever you want to revive in the second position. I believe that's how it works, but I'd have to like recheck. But you know, we'll continue reading and see more people say. But this might be like new to me. Because as I'm reading this, I realized I didn't realize this and I think this is about to be life-changing for me. Because I never paid attention to this outside of Sand Devil with Ninja Aniri. So, in the above example or below example down here, if Shamael is placed before Lydia, as such here in the first one, she will counter. I'll say it again for those of you who need to hear it again. If Shamael is placed before Lydia, anytime a hero receives a fear, for example, with Hydra, He's going to remove and counter before Lydia's passive is checked. So she won't counter if she is before. Right here. Oh, sorry, right here. If she is before, meaning if she's going first in the second example, she will counter, get feared, then Shamael will counter twice. One for the original attack, then the second time for Lydia's getting feared so two extra hits each time this also means 15 extra turn boosts because every time i think um shamail attacks with his a or attacks he does like a turn meter boost to whoever's in the leader position so this also means 15 extra turn boosts to leader to the leader whoever's in the leader position from shamail plus more chances for other heroes to counter for masteries so in the context of hydra what I need to do is go back and make sure Shamael is at the very end, right? Because I wasn't doing that before. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I wasn't. I never paid attention to that. But this makes sense, right? And I'll try to explain it as best as I can with my own layman's terms, right? Don't put Shamael first. Put him last. You want passives to go in the turn order because this matters, right? This is... Position one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Leader, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, the second time I said it was the correct way. Because you're going to get extra um, hits from the counters, you're also going to make sure that Lydia's passive activates where she will counter. And then you're getting the turn meter boost to um, the leader for Sham Shamayel. Did you guys know about this? Because I didn't know about this. I never paid attention enough to know about this, but this is actually pretty interesting. I don't think this is talked about enough. I don't, at least I didn't see anything about this. Did you? Because I didn't. I'm still trying to wrap my head and completely just like comprehend everything that's going on because I'm reading this and you guys might be wondering, Burrito, why are you reading this over and over again? It's because that's how I understand information. I have to read it a few times and say it out loud and say it even and read it slowly for me to really understand what's going on. But the too long didn't read is this. Yes, no. The ADHD version is, I should have started with this, make sure Shamayo's last, all right? And then of course, the reasons we just went over are this. And I gave another example with Ninja Neri. Let's see what people are saying. This is exactly the same reason why Krisk, did not know this, should be placed as champ, as first champ, really. Chris needs to be placed as the first champ, but since he doesn't have an aura, he should be second. Or I guess what he means is this. This is the first position. This is leader position. This is first position. Position. So Chris should be here, first position. The reason is the same. AoE hits are placed in the same order. The first hit gets the first place. Second, so on and so forth. God damn it. Now that I'm reading it, I realize something else. Fire Knight. 
This is the reason why people in my hard fire night videos were telling me, hey, make sure you put Newt last. You want to make sure Newt is last when going up against Fire Knight, because if you put him in the first or the second position, he's going to be the first one in the ally attack to attack. You want to make sure that he's last, because if he can be the last, if your last two nuts or even just your one nut is last, he is going to hit the Fire Knight, and, and if the shield breaks, Nut is going to be the one hitting him. Nut is the one that's going to be placing the turn meter reduction. And then, you know, Nut can take his turn. But in the double ally attack comp, you want to make sure Newt is going last. For the same reason that we're talking about here. And he just clicked with me. That means Krisk's passive with a decreased attack and decreased defense gets applied on the attacker as second. And the third and the fourth place get damage reduction. I only learned this last week. It changed my life. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It changed my life. Title of the video. This. This uh, tip, this, um, what, do you, what are we going to call it? This, um, this raid hack changed my life. Boom. Title right there. There you go. Changed my life, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to get some bright asshole in the comments. Really, it changed your life? Are you sleeping better at night? Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm talking about. Interesting. I thought it was based on speed. I never really thought about it, but I was just messing around with new Hydra teams. Realized she wasn't countering anymore. Is this applicable only for champions with the counter buff? Works for ally attack order too. Bunch of other things like arena, AoE attacks. Same order, if you have polymorph, you want to put it closer to the leader to have a chance to stop everyone else taking AoE damage if you sheep. That also kind of makes sense. You ever uh, pay attention to, um, for example, Romantu? Oh no, better one, a better, more relatable one is probably going to be Sun Wukong, right? Use Sun Wukong's A3. You try to remove buffs or place the debuffs, the decree, um, the block debuffs, and Wukong gets sheeped. But sometimes you'll see that the debuffs get placed on some of the opposing champions and not on all of them. And it has to do with turn order, now I'm realizing. So if you put Armand's, for an example, who has the five star, six star blessing for sheep in the second position, or maybe even first position, from what I'm understanding here, you can stop everyone else from taking the debuffs, or in this case, his example, the AoE damage if you sheep. That's ingenious. I, I don't know why nobody is really talking about turn orders. I feel like this needs to be talked about more, because I don't think enough people are talking about it. I don't see anybody talking about it in Channel 2. I've seen some discussions on it in my comments letting me know, but those are for very specific very specific situations we might have had discussions about it in discord but again for very specific situations but i feel like this concept of making sure that your your champions are in very specific orders for the reasons mentioned before for passives for aoe's for debuffs for sheeping so on and so forth it's not talked about enough so i implore you guys to go and share this you know i don't really ask or anything but like just you don't even have to share the video you know what just tell people just tell people i don't feel like people know about this this is why when running seeker if he's not in the lead spot he should be right behind the lead so his passive activates before everyone behind him gets hit from aoe attack if you don't know seeker is the bat most commonly used in the bat eater comps or early on in the game if you don't have a turn meter booster you have um or an aoe increased defense Seeker does it. He's an epic from the Undead Hordes, I think. But he does this passive where if you hit him, I think you have to hit him hard enough. It might be that or not. Uh, he places increased defense on everybody. Yeah, that's another thing. Trash Can Sam. Okay, so something I never knew. Thanks for the info. We'll be che checking my team comps going forward. Like with ally attack, position one, two, position three. If you're at Yeah, so what I just said. You can actually try this in low, um, in low normal Doom Tower stage, but that's not how this works. Single target champions won't attack if the target is already killed by a champion in the higher team order. On the other hand, AoE champions will, will attack if the target is killed by a champion in the, in the team order. Yeah. Is that it? Is that is that true? 100% wrong? If your AoE 
absolute nukers are in position four and fifth, they will not get a chance to drop their A1 bomb. Okay, so I probably wouldn't listen to whoever just said that. A we this right here, ignore this. He's saying it's wrong. Better example is with Sinesha and Skull Crown. Skull Crown gets a double hit if they're over 50% life. And Sinesha, th this is true. I used to I used to use the Blender comp. So you want Skull Crown to go first. So make sure Skull Crown is always in the first position if you're gonna do the Blender comp. And for those of you who do not know who don't know what the Blender comp is, because it's not really a thing anymore, because of you know meta's change. Basically, use a, a speed booster, someone who goes fast, turn meter boost, somebody like Arbiter who places increased attack and the turn meter boost, and you know, gives you that aura lead. She's in the first position, she boosts turn meter so that um, your ally attacker will go. So somebody like Catacomb Counselor, who is a epic champion from the Undead Horde, or Farrakh in the Fat, or Cardiel if you have him, does their ally attack, and then Sinesha and Skullcrown both go. But you want to make sure that Skullcrown is in the is in the third position, and then Sinesha is in the fourth position, because you want to make sure that Skullcrown goes first, so that she gets a double hit if they're over 50% life, and then Sinesha cleans up because she she attacks. Um, double hits when they're under 50% life. I never had an issue with AoE champs not attacking in that situation. War Master, Artak, both still pop off their attacks at least. I don't know what he's talking about. Same with Seeker. That's why I put Vogoth in the last spot so his passive heals everyone else after they've taken damage. It's really cool you learn this by experience. Yes, this is a thing that... Um, yes, this is a thing for... For anything? This is a thing for anything that requires order of operations, PEMDAS. Things happen in an order. For example, um, if your wife loves you, you love her back. I love my wife, she loves me back. If your team is hit by an AoE attack while it looks like everybody gets hit at the same time, it's actually going through an order of your champions from leader to last spot. I was aware of the line, line order. I think I would know uh, they were in the order, didn't know they just didn't pass it with trigger at the time, then everyone did what they needed to do. Yeah, this is life-changing. 